Here we go. <clears throat> hey there, how's it going? It's Chuck Kirk. I'm welcoming you to another tribute match for Classic Soccer Friendly. We are live from Studio Giuseppe Miasa, <clears throat> where we will have a matchup between the 1990 Italians and the 1990 Argentines. Reason why we're doing this is because of what you see on the screen Toto Scalacci's tribute match. Of course, I gotta switch here because wrong screen back. So this is Salvador Scalacci, known as Toto Scalacci, who played for Messina, Juventus, Inter Milan, and Giulio Iwata. At an international level, he was a surprise star of the 1990 FIFA World Cup, helping Italy take third place. And actually scored six goals throughout that World Cup, claiming the Golden Boots as a goal scorer, and actually was the player of the tournament, somehow. So anyway, he was born. His senior career, 61 goals in Messina with Messina for 219 games. And then he went to Juventus, played for Juventus in 1990. Which some win the UEFA Cup, which is the which is kind of what uh, Europa is now, the second tier. You got Champions League and then you got Europa. In the old days, it was European Cup before it changed to Champions League in 92. And then UEFA Cup. So he was then selected by the Italian head coach, Vincini, despite being a novice in national team competitions. And then after that, he played two more years for Juventus, then went to Inter. And then he went to Japan, becoming the first Italian player to play in the J-League. And he helped Iwata win the 1997 J-League, as in the top division. So he was a star over in Japan, unlike Gary Lineker. Well, anyway, internationally career in 1990, he actually replaced Andrea Carneval during Austria's first match against Austria, scoring the goal to take down Italy. And then he beat, uh, he helped beat the Czechs 2 0. Scalacci scored, but everyone will remember Baggio's individual effort against the Czechs. Yes, oh yes, oh yes! Well, Baggio! Anyway, Scalacci starred alongside Baggio uh, you know, in Italy's next two matches of the knockout stages, scoring the round of 16 against Uruguay and the quarterfinals against Ireland, and then helped set up a goal against Uruguay. So anyway, in the semifinals, Scalacci was up front with Gianluca Fiali. Scalacci scored a goal... Scored a goal against Italy, Argentina, but somehow, in some way, Italy finally gave up a goal. Like, Italy had not given up a goal all tournament, and then Argentina scored. Not Maradona, but, like, scored. Unfortunately for Italy, they lost in the, thir the penalty shootout. Scalacci actually scored a key goal for Italy, winning third place against England, who fell to West Germany in the other semifinal. Remember Paul Gass Gascoigne's tears? He scored six goals, winning the Golden Boot for top goal scorer, and then was named the Golden Ball Award for best player of the tournament. Come on, you don't give it to a freaking Walter Sanga, that your goalie? Regardless of that, he would score seven goals and 16 casts for Italy. The only other goal for Italy was in a Euro qualifying match against Norway. Can you believe it? He would only scored seven goals for his nation, and six of them were in the World Cup. That one World Cup. So anyway, it was in a Toto. His nephew is a professional footballer, Francisco Di Marino. Married twice and had three children, having come so Roman Catholic. He was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2024, I mean 2022, and then he died today, September 18, 2024. Yeah, he was a great guy for Italy. It was weird how you, he scored six goals of the World Cup. And only had one other goal for Italy otherwise. Yeah, UEFA Cup champions for Juventus in 1990 and Inter in 94, you know, what we call Europa nowadays. So, let's play. All set up in AI control. Scalacci is definitely in the starting lineup. I am going to have to change color. Oh, I can't change color. Shoot. Okay. I wish I could change color for Italy. I guess I can't. All right, so... It's 4 4 2 versus 3 5 2. Italy has Senga in net. Boy Kachira for Argentina. And Boy Kachira came in for Pompidou. 
in that time. Italy, in the back, have Paolo Maldini, Franco Perese, Ferri of Bergomi, midfield Gianni, De Napoli, and De Agostini, and Donadali, Doni, Baggio and Scalacci up front, Argentina, back three, Sorosa, Ruggeri, and Simone, midfielders, Olardi Cuccia, Proglio, Burjaka, Batista, Basudo, Kanija and Monadana up front. We are going to auto watch. Here we go.
Butler from Degostini. One zero Italia. Chera is gone. Two yellows, equals a red, and Eric you know, down to ten. Not good. Baggio. Argentina nil. And Argentina is down a man. Oliver Kuchera got double yellow. That means he's red in games that match is out. He's down for one song. from Bergomi. You knew you were playing in some trendy match, and he did. Three nothing for a towel. Better he had it. I think we'll cut this short because it's three nothing. You don't want to watch the end of the match. Italy wins four nothing. The fourth goal was scored by Toto Scalashi. I feel bad about uh, but Italy was crushing the tar out of Italy, Argentina. Barbara came in for Ruggieri, Monson for Batista, Bertie for Di Napoli, and Baggio replacing the 67th minute by future coach. Carlo Ancelotti. Really? A Chelsea guy replaced Baju? Okay. Man, Italy just crushed it. Well, the own goal. It would have been R Ricardo Garay's goal, but Toto with two goals. That's... Yeah. 
Squatchy, two goals on six shots, four on target. Excuse me. Five passes and tackle. Play by play. Oh, highlight. Eight high for highlight. So good, so. Stini. Degastini to Gianni, who scored. And then Oigo Chira fouled Bergomi and got sent off. Followed Bergomi, crosses to Scalacci, who scored. Very keeps it in off. Degastini passes to Scalacci in the 75th minute, and he scored. Well, that's it. Toto Scalacci gets a happy freaking ending. A 4 0 win in this one. So, yeah. Unbelievable, but yeah, Toto Scalacci is the hero. Two goals. Rest in peace, buddy. Anyway, I'm Jeff, I'm gonna do.